Hello, my name is Robert Birkush and our main goal is real-time object segmentation using the superpixels. Here you can see the superpixel segmentation using our accelerated GSIC implementation. And here the calculated uh, RGB mean, mean value of the superpixels in ESO in real-time. And here you can see the superpixel super managing algorithm using an adaptive threshold. and my topic is real-time worker simulation with wave particles on the GP. Now, imagine you are playing a computer game and you are throwing a rock in the water and nothing happens. We try to solve this problem by uh, creating this interactive list so it can run in, in computer games. We also aim waterway behind the road and our implementation is on the GPU. Thanks. An everyday question in computation and geometry is whether or not the point lies on a line. Take this line here for example. A point can be above, below and on the line. But let's take a closer look. What the heck? What you can see here is the fixed precision room today. Arbitrary precision can fix this, but it is slow. So what can we do? Use the GPU, of course. Um, we'll talk, also, I'll be talking about 
rendering bundles in uh, web browsers. You can uh, do it for only for 35 euros. Uh, you cannot uh, forget that the eye trackers are the composition of hardware and the software. And if you uh, want to get knowledge about the eye tracking and uh, our solution, please come to my talk on Tuesday. Thank you so much. Hello. Uh, so in general, uh, in, order, in order to detect uh, objects and images, we use uh, interest point detectors. Uh, but it's usually uh, it usually takes a long time for researchers to, to design them. So we have developed a system that designs them automatically. Uh, they are transformation invariant, descriptive, and fast to be able to run them on, on a mobile phone. Uh, we will also show you how they have uh, created algorithms that have bested uh, man-made algorithms. So, I hope to see you there. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rafał Kukowski and I am from Szczecin, Poland. Uh, so, if you are a casual player, you obviously hate dying. Uh, and when you play online, you hate campers. Uh, if your computer is better than the NASA ones, you obviously hate frame rate drops, and you are nervous play you hate uh, uh, loading screens. But uh, what if you are a real graphic free? Obviously, you will have hate game engine artifacts. Uh, please come to my talk tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hannes Lang. And uh, my project is about scanning users uh, with the Kinect sensor. We capture color and depth frames, and with this, we generate watertight face matches with all the missing inter with all the missing information interpolated. I hope I see you on Wednesday morning. Thank you. and I will talk about improved 3D reconstruction using combined weighting strategies. Typically, in 3D reconstruction, you have an object and you want to get a 3D model out of it by moving around. And if you simply average all the scans, you will end up with a 
we construct with a lot of artifacts. And to overcome this, we introduce combined rating strategies. Hi, my name is Marco, and I will uh, and I will present the new methods for the reconstruction of buildings from random data, which is performed in four steps: uh, first loss, and then clustering, adjacency graph, and modeling. In the first step, we uh, fit surfaces to the kind of which point, and then the, these points are clustered, uh, and between these clusters, an adjacency graph is constructed which is then used to determine building's boundary points and edges. Um, in this way, we uh, obtain these results. Uh, thank you, and hope I see you in the morning. analysis based on these landmarks and for each of these tools we develop a specific visualization to highlight uh, the details. So if you are interested in this topic please come to my presentation on Wednesday afternoon. So welcome everybody, my name is Gerge Ratz and I'm going to be talking about tomographic reconstruction on the body center of cubic lattice. Usually in practical applications it's very important which combination of lattice and reconstruction filter is combined for uh, getting a smooth and isotropic reconstruction and as you can see in these illustrations the best behavior had the VCC lattice combined with the dry linear spline, which is a separate one in itself. And uh, if you are interested in more details, then I'll be happy to see you on Wednesday afternoon. Hello, my name is Martin Sandlecker and I will talk about voice rendering on the GPU. Uh, our implementation runs inside an uh, autonomously executing layer kernel and we showed some basic mapping and three different algorithms for motion blur and different field. Our implementation uh, achieves real-time on the active frame rates. Oh, thank you. 